Welcome to Storytime with Karen and Kevin. Today, I'll be reading from the subreddit, r slash relationship advice, where OP has a lot more to worry about than just his dog. Our story today was posted by Throwaway I Feel Stupid. I, 33 male, caught my girlfriend, 31 female, with another guy while my dog was at the hospital. My girlfriend lives a 20 minute drive for me and my pup. The two most important things in my life are my girlfriend and my dog. We're talking about living together at the end of the year and we've even talked about marriage. We've even done a therapy session together because we want this relationship to work and last. We both love each other and I feel very loved by her. We've been sharing our location on iPhone since the early days of our relationship and it's a really nice way to share trust. I had to take my pup to the emergency clinic because she was not doing well at all. I had to leave work in the middle of the day and find a place that could take her in. I FaceTimed my girlfriend to tell her what was going on, but she was at work and didn't answer at 1.42 p.m. In the meantime, I'm waiting to hear back from the vet. I'm feeling sick because I obviously don't want it to be anything serious. She calls back at 3.42 and tells me she's sorry, she was busy at work and should be able to leave for home at 5.15 at the latest. She doesn't stay the night during the week with me because she usually gets up at 5 a.m. to work out and get to work early. This avoids the 20 minute drive back to her place in the morning. She always asks me what nights I'm going to be staying over for the week. I say this because since my dog was ill, I thought maybe she'd make the exception and come over. She texted me around 620 asking me how it was going. I say, not great, but thanks for asking. And then I get radio silence. I check her location. She's on a community bike path that essentially links where we both live. I thought maybe she was biking over, which is weird because she's only ever done that once and it was a weeknight, so it probably meant she was staying the night. Cool, because I'm worried sick about my dog. I check her location again and she's at a weird part of the park, off the main trail. She's there for a good 15 or 20 minutes. It's 7.50 p.m. I decide to FaceTime her. No answer. I text her, you're in a weird place on the map, are you okay? No response. I called again. Nothing. I'm getting nervous because today is not the day. I tell her I'm on my way to that location since you're not answering. I'm leaving my dog behind to check on you. It's 8 p.m. and I'm racing to the wooded area she is at, 16 minutes away. She starts moving. She's moving back towards her place. I finally identify the route she's taking while I'm driving and park ahead of the trail where she will intercept me. I round the corner and look up the path. She's walking with another guy. My heart drops and I think I go into mild shock because I don't know what to say. I tell the guy I need a minute. She looks shocked and puzzled that I'm there. I ask her who that is and what is she doing? I've called many times and I thought she was hurt. She says it's just a friend. I say, well, it didn't look like that. You didn't say anything about meeting this guy and it looks really bad that you're out here with them. She says that he went through something traumatic a few years ago. I scoff because I'm literally in the trenches with my dog right now and she prioritized this guy over us. I'm even more hurt. I'm starting to shake because this girl is a love of my life and I'm breaking down. It's 8.30 and my dog is at home by herself. I'm praying she isn't going to any seizures or anything while I'm out, trying to find what happened to my girlfriend. She apologizes and says it does look bad. I'm worked up now, trying to be calm, but it's really hard. She says she didn't hear the phone. I ask her to pull it out and I see all the notifications still on the home screen. My head thinks she's so engrossed in conversation with this dude she didn't hear all the phone calls and text messages. I called her phone while it's in her bag, and truthfully, I didn't hear it either, but I'm not wearing the purse, so who knows. I tell her I feel stupid, and I just go back home. I turn my phone off and try to tend to my dog. She's burning up, and I'm rubbing her with a damp cloth to try to keep her cool. I am not in a good place. My dog is not in a good place. About 45 minutes later, my girlfriend shows up, and she wants to talk. I've made a pallet on the floor so I can be next to my dog and take care of her. I sit down on the floor and listen to what she has to say. She told me that they were just friends and that it wasn't like that. I say, well, all the signs tell me otherwise. I proceed to list out all the things that fell off. 
It's a weeknight and you're out at 8.30, dressed up and walking with another guy. You religiously go to bed at 8.45 or 9 p.m. You always tell me when you're meeting up with a girlfriend for dinner. You clue me in on your plans. You always ask what nights I'm staying over. You didn't this week. You deliberately didn't tell me you were meeting this guy, plutonic or not. She apologized and she said she understands how it looks and how I feel. She asked how she can make this better. I asked her what she would do if she were in my shoes. Truthfully, I'm drawing a blank here and I can't remember what exactly she said. It was something generic along the lines of time and working through it. After a while, I asked her who initiated and how did this come about? She said it doesn't matter. Why should that matter? I told her it does and I need to know. After a few minutes, I said it would help me if I could read the text. She said no. I can't go through her phone. I told her how she broke my trust and that I hate to do this, but I'm drawing the line here and I need to read it. If she is going to die on this hill and not show me, that's a red flag for me and that she isn't willing to make it work. After a few minutes, she says she initiated the conversation and then she grabs the phone and hands it to me. I read through the messages. It seemed plutonic enough. I hand her the phone back and I tell her thank you. I still feel terrible, but thank you for letting me read it. I ask her if she had intentions of telling me about this meetup. She doesn't answer the question, but says, I don't like it when she hangs out with her guy friends. I said, who? She says, Mark and Alan. Those guys? I say, of course I don't care. One is married and the other is engaged. I know them. I like them. You can't say that. I'm friends with them. I don't know this guy you met up with on a night I've needed you more than ever. You hid that from me by intentionally not telling me. That's lying. Look me in the eye and tell me, did you plan on telling me? No answer. Did you? Did you intentionally not tell me you were going to meet this guy? She says, I didn't tell you and leaves out the word intentionally. I say, stop skirting the question. I'm trying to be an adult and not freak out and have a conversation here. Grow up and answer the question. She says, stop berating me. I tell her that I'm not. I'm trying to get her to answer a very specific question. She finally says, I intentionally didn't tell you and I chose him over you. I'm sorry, it was wrong. She asked a few times during the process if I wanted her to leave so I could be alone. I say that is not at all what I want. She eventually offers to stay over and I'm glad. The morning comes, she's up at 6 a.m. and says she will see me later and then leaves, nothing else. A few hours later, I decide to text her what she meant by see you later. I look at my phone and it tells me she has stopped sharing her location with me. I'm flooded with terrible thoughts about what is going through her head. Is she tired of this? Does she want to break up? I get up to use the bathroom and see that she also left the ring on the counter that I gave her. I just don't know what to think anymore. How do I move forward? Update, she has since responded to my text offering to come over tonight and that she doesn't have any intention of breaking up with me. She just wanted to acknowledge that she read the text but can't give me the response I deserve until she gets out of her meetings today. Ugh, sorry about your dog, OP, for one. Obviously, sorry about the relationship stuff, too. I mean, that's awful and what timing. I mean, I feel like you can tell she feels really guilty about what she did. I mean, she should have known how much you needed her at a time like when your dog has to go to the emergency room. Like, that's awful. Anything should be prioritized over that, and I would feel so hurt. I don't know what I would do. And the fact that she just, you know, stopped, you know, I don't know, the sharing the location thing, I guess, could get kind of weird. But I mean, if you trust each other, it shouldn't matter. But I don't know, it seems a little fishy. I mean, we don't know how long her texts go back with this guy, and she didn't tell you about him. It's just, it seems sketchy. I mean, I hope you work it out, and maybe it's all just, you know, all about nothing. But it seems pretty sketchy to me, but good luck, OP. That's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it. If you like what we do and want to support us, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can also become a donor on Anchor FM. See you next time. Bye.